It's British Prime Minister Boris Johnson facing a no-confidence vote today that could possibly oust him from power. Joining us now to discuss, political analyst, British journalist, Jonathan Satridoti. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on. All right, let's bring our viewers up to speed. Why is Boris Johnson facing this vote of no confidence to begin with? Boris Johnson has been under a lot of criticism recently, especially after an investigation which found that he had overseen a period of rule-breaking during the lockdown period. Uh, that's because there had been gatherings or so-called parties within Downing Street itself. And of course, Boris Johnson was widely criticised for that, being the person at the top of the chain. He argued that he didn't know that some of the gatherings were illegal at the time, that they hadn't been parties, that they'd been work events or farewell drinks for certain key staff who were allowed to work in the office during that period as key workers. But certainly uh, he was fined by the police for one of these contraventions and there were numerous others. And as a result, it seems that a perfect storm has, has emerged where there's been so much criticism over what he did during that time and on other issues that his character is now in question. And there are plenty of people outside the party saying that he is not fit to be prime minister. Now, though, within the party, his own members of parliament have submitted letters to the 1922 committee, that uh, backbench committee of Conservative MPs. If more than 54 letters are submitted secretly, then a vote of confidence is triggered, and that's exactly what's happened. So he was notified that there would be a vote of confidence. He chose to have it as soon as possible, and that's this evening between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. UK time. All right, so it's all going to come down to the votes. And Jonathan, based on what you've seen um, from, you know, maybe politicians who've provided interviews to the media here, did, does he have enough votes that would actually oust him from power? Is this seriously something he could be facing? Well, this is a serious threat for him, because even if he doesn't lose, it certainly challenges his authority going forwards. And other prime ministers in the past have managed to get through this vote, but have then found themselves fatally weakened. One recent example, of course, is Theresa May, who got through exactly the same process, but then ended up stepping down anyway within the following months. Now, he needs to have in this vote a majority uh, that needs to be over half of the MPs that vote for him, that say they still have confidence in him. Uh, just one over a majority. Uh, against him will mean that there needs to be a leadership election within the Conservative Party with the candidates chosen by those MPs at first and then the last two put to a wider vote of the national membership of the Conservative Party. And that, of course, is something he's saying would be a distraction from the matters that the government is meant to be dealing with at the moment, rising costs, the war in Ukraine, uh, and, of course, the exit from that COVID period, which has uh, triggered off this economic disaster as well that the whole world is going through. So Boris Johnson's saying that now isn't the time. And then when it comes to the substantive policy issues, he's trying to tell the members of his own party he's yeah. done very well, and their massive majority in Parliament should allow them to keep doing that. All right, and it all comes at a time, too, when the country is celebrating a big event the Queen's Jubilee. Uh, really quick for you, Jonathan, how does that play into this whole vote? Well, some of those letters were said to have possibly been forward dated so that this would only happen after the Jubilee celebrations finished yesterday. And that's why Boris Johnson has perhaps chosen to go straight ahead with the vote as soon as possible, hoping that he can get this over with. Interesting timing of it all. Jonathan Satridoti joining us live from overseas. Thank you. We appreciate it.